Hello, guys. Welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with George Rogers. Glad to get him back on the channel. He is now one win with 28 defeats with three draws. And he's back out uh, tomorrow night uh, at the Holiday Inn in, in Birmingham. And he's taking on Zain Ali, who's a debutant over four rounds. But uh, before we get into that one, um, yeah, how are you? And good to get you back on, mate. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I've had a rough year. If I'm honest, so uh, I've basically had my eyesight and my left eye weren't great, and it didn't meet the uh, border control minimums. So I've had to have laser surgery, but I've had that. I uh, feel great, to be honest. Feel feel amazing, um, and absolutely buzzing to be back at it, mate. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely buzzing to be back at it, to be honest. So you thought um, I had you on the night before the Croker fight and um, talk us about that fight that was in Cardiff and you lost 40-36. Yeah, good fight that was, mate. Yeah, I thought I was tricky enough. He was good. Um, did my job that evening, to be honest. He came um, to put it on you. He's he's a strong lad, isn't he? He's good. Yeah, he was good. He was. Yeah, I was pretty good that day, I thought. Uh, did my job. Well, really, to be honest, was tricky enough for him. I think he would have learned a lot from that. Um, was he hard to but, get off you, like, try to keep no, him away from you? No, I think, I think if I was to reflect back, what he didn't do was was cut off the ring enough, to be honest. So he gave me space. I could find space, you see. Um, I've been pretty tricky on my legs and my footwork being okay. Yeah, he gave me space to find. So I think, yeah, he was good. He was good. He was a good puncher. And stuff, but I think if to try and stop me more or to put more pressure on you, he would have should have cut the ring off a bit better. Mm -hmm. And a fight you drew against Albert uh, Kumi, I think. Kumi, yeah. yeah, it was a draw, but arguably, I thought you won that. Yeah, I should have pressed the pace, that should have been another win. I'll uh, hopefully now moving forward, if I get opportunities like that, I will. Get it over the line. Were you happy with your? Were you happy that you got a draw? Because when it's a close fight, um, they tend to give it to the home fighter. So, were you happy with a draw? Was I happy? Probably not. You know, if I'm being honest, just not not because of that. I was happy with the draw was good and away from out away. As you know, it's hard to get draws. But looking back, I wish I'd stepped it on a bit more. You, you could have back. done more, and you could have. I could have done more myself. Yeah, I could have done more myself. And when opportunities rise like that, you've got a short career, haven't you? So I should have capitalised on that more, really. Mm -hmm. And then you fought at the Doncaster Dome against Jamie Mellors, and it was thirty nine, thirty seven. Yes. Yeah, that was tough. That was a tough fight. That was. He was good. He was good stuff. He was. And and you got a round off him, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, which is good, to be fair, because he was good, he was, Mellis, very good, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was pleased with performance that night, because he was good stuff, he was, that was to the, the last round, because he had such long arms and long levers, if he got close to him, because he, he was so long, it was hard for him to work, and the last round, that's was what that a tough that night for you? Yeah, a tough night, that was, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you fought uh, Sh Shockey Khan, um, yeah. you're cool, and he, he's, a, he's a good fighter, isn't he, Shockey? He is. He's all right. Yeah. Okay. That was an okay night. Yeah. 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 That was an okay night for me, to be honest. Was it good to box at uh, your cool again? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I love it there. I yeah. Love your cool's one of the. London. Would you say your cool's one of the best arenas you've boxed in so far? Probably. Yeah. Mm, Probably. Yeah. Well, well it's, it is a good one. Then you fought yeah. uh, Billy Stabbury. Um, Unfortunately, you got stopped. Um, what went wrong with that night? And just talk us about the fight. So, no, so two things on that night. Uh, I found out about my eye the day before. So I weren't in a great headspace, to be honest. Uh, but no excuses. I don't make excuses. I'm just explaining it. Mm -hmm. uh, I found out about my eye the day before and I was devastated because I live a, I live a very busy life. And I, everything was just on like momentum, and that was like the one thing that that plate crushed, and it was like brought my lifestyle a little bit to fruition because I, I'm just I've I'm, I'm, got like a bit of this, I've got pro boxing, I've got all the stuff I'm in, and I just that plate is sort of like smashed everything. Mm -hmm. So that was so I went in a great headspace. So that was one reason, but no, it's like I said, I don't say excuses. He said yeah. about me, which was great, but two. He'd sold a lot of tickets 
and I probably got a, this is, sounds like an excuse, but I probably got I was doing so well when somebody sold that many tickets in a small venue and they set it about you. I probably I'd not had that for a while, so it was a bit of a shock when it happened. Whereas if I'd been switched on thinking like tomorrow, I'll remember what happened that night and think, right, you've got 12 minutes here of abs of this this could be the most ferocious atmosphere you've been, and then I'll be ready. And that's the only thing. But the it, atmosphere is I, always against you though. They are, but this one was in particular. This one was all this one was like particular small venue, small ring. Um and they were really though he'd sold a lot of tickets he had that evening in Plymouth. Yeah, he, 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 I saw he thought it you were cool a few weeks ago and he had a handful of people down. He sold it, yeah. So more so than normal, and I hadn't had it for a while. Um so a combination of those reasons. Mm-hmm. A combination of those reasons. How hard was it to take your first stoppage defeat? Horrible, mate. Horrible, yeah. And my boxing career, unlicensed uh before and stuff I'd done and I never had anything go wrong. And that was the first time. Uh so uh, once again it's a learning curve that life ain't always gonna go your way. It was hard. Mm-hmm. The pride, but you know what I mean? Do you think that yeah. fight's made you um stronger as a fighter and like has it made it you stronger and better as a fighter, would you say? Or Yeah, I think yes, I think so. I think so. I I was a little bit too active. Sam, I learned that I was a bit too active. I can't, yeah, because you fought I, like four was, three weeks in a row, yeah. Or something like that, and, and so I was working full time and every weekend going up and down the country fighting. Yeah, is it hard to okay. juggle your, your work plus boxing as well? It's, it's not because I love, bo- I, I love boxing and the, I'm like got to a position that I'm in, I don't want to let it slip. So, I've, you know what I mean? So, but I can't be as active as I was. I doubt. I doubt I'll be as active as I was. I, I, I laughed at or if I am, I'll learn from it, and things will have to slow down in other areas. Like, do you know what I mean and stuff. And I'll have to. Be, I won't go back to. So I was working full time all week. Like I remember, I'd work if I had a fight on Friday night. I'd work in the day. I thought we'd be in my day job and make the hours up, and then I get to the fight at night. Or I was just living such a hectic lifestyle. Um, and the loss made me think I can't play it both. I've got to, if I've got a fight that day, I've got to be switched on, ready for that fight that day. I can't yeah. be thinking of other stuff. Do you know what I mean? So that, so fight, I'll, that fight has basically changed your mentality. Yeah. Yeah. The, the whole, this whole year has really, because I've had quite a bit of, I've never, I suppose, in me, being quite honest with you now, but in my life, I've, I've not had a lot go wrong, I suppose. I've had decent, I'm quite happy with what last this year things have gone wrong, boxing getting started, losing my license and stuff. So it's just made me think that I've got to sort of mm-hmm. be less running around everywhere and things got to be a bit more structured. So when I'm fighting, I'm ready and I know I'm ready. And there's not, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm trying to fit Is this that in why you've had so quite a while out of the ring and you're returning um, tomorrow night? I had to have the surgery on the eye. So oh, yeah. That's why. You see, I had to have surgery on the eye. Mm-hmm. So that was, uh, yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. Yes. So you've got Zayn Ali tomorrow, a debut. Yeah. What do you know about him? Uh, what do I know about him? I've been looking. Um, yeah, he looks okay. Looks okay. A lot of amateur fights. Uh, it's his debut, so he'll be up for it. Um, but... I feel I'll be ready, I suppose. I feel I'll be ready and, yeah, ready to sniff a win if there's one there. Mm-hmm. And um, are you excited um, that you're fighting on Fight Zone? Yeah, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing, yeah. Um, buzzing, yeah, buzzing, buzzing. Well, this time, Sam, the first time, I'm actually, I was this morning, I was f- uh, three pounds under what I needed to be. So I've been able to eat going into this, like to eat up to what. So that's how much I've been training. I've been training, I say, learning. I'm gonna do the fight tomorrow, um, and then next week I'm gonna really slow it down. Whereas usually I just used to go from week to week. What's available the week after? I'm saying no. Next week get them off, recover from this, have a few days, and then back up again. Mm-hmm. Um. So what um so with are you excited to be returning to the ring tomorrow night after yeah, a, bit, a while out 
yeah, buzzing. Um, if I say I'm going to do something, I've got to do it. And I wanted to get to 100 fights. If I never got to 100, sorry. We never got. To, I said. I said. I've got, got, got. to where I'm at now. I said I'm going to get to hundred, so I'm going to do it. So uh, roll on tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And are you going for the win, or is if the usual? Yeah, because it's there. Yeah, it's there. I'll sniff it out. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. is the main goal just to stay safe, or is the goal to win, or just see how you feel uh, tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. If it's there for it, I'm going to go for it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gonna go for it if it's there tomorrow. Good stuff, mate. And um, how are you feeling? Like you're boxing on like a British title fight undercard. So would you stay after your fight? Would you stay and watch it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you know much about the people in the main event? Or are you? I just... do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I do. So I look forward to it tomorrow. I'm gonna stay and watch them all. I think. Yeah. Stay to the end tomorrow. It'd be a good, be a good show to be honest. And yeah. who, who've you got for the main event? Both in it. It's gonna be difficult. That is because it's a their second fight. They they had yeah. one in March and it was quite close. I I had I had it seven four with one a one round even to Braithwaite, but did you? And Braithwaite was think... having a slow. He did. He had thirteen days yeah. notice, and I think they both had full camps notice. He just has been on the wrong end three times for the British title. Um, he has, yeah. Um, but I think they'll both yeah. be hungry for a knockout, especially in just yeah, 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 yeah. Busy as well, weren't they? Yeah, I think we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I think it'll be good though. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be Mate, that, good. that's gonna be good. that's gonna be a good dust up that to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good that will. Yeah. And then you've got co main event Jimmy Cooper v Ben Vargan, who's just I don't think it's a title eliminator. I just think it's a ten round fight, but that should be a decent one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good swear. Yeah, you're making me excited talking to you, mate. The more than I was thinking about it. Yeah, and then you've got who else is in the away corner? You've got Liam Griffins. Um, he's I've not looked who's in the away corner. To be honest, I've not looked who's in the away corner. Yet. Yeah, it's so Liam it's Griffins, Logan yeah. Palin, uh, of course yourself. Karina Susberg and Evac yeah. Ivanova. They're the two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, excited. That. Yeah. Let's do open you know on what... first and I can watch the rest. <laughs> Wait, what time you, do you, did you say you're on first, did you? I hope I'm on first and I can watch the rest. Mm-hmm. Um, what can fans expect from you tomorrow night? What can fans expect from me tomorrow night? Good fight tomorrow. Good fight. Good fight. I'm going to use the stress and the pain that I've had over the last April, is it? So got May, April, May, June, July, August, September. So six months. It's been hard six months, but uh, I've learned from it and I'm back. And I'm ready to, I said I'm going to do 100 fights. So I'm going to, I've got to do it. If, I, if now I've got to 32 odd and I'm loving it and I'm, I'm only done 28, look at me. You never know. You might, because, uh, I think there was one year where uh, you know Dale Arrowsmith. Yes. He's he's um done twenty three in the last two three years or something. Yeah, next year could be a big one for me. Now, uh, and, 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 and Dale's year. having his hundredth fight this week. Is he brilliant? Yeah, on Saturday. Brilliant. Hundred will be the hundred will be when I call it. Hundred when I'll be. I've said I'm going to get to hundred. So throughout the twenties and early thirties, I'll get to hundred by the time, and then I'll. So would you say your 100th fight would be like a home sort of fight for you, yeah. hometown, friends and family watching? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think I'll have earned that, I think, from your 100th. I think I've been through some, yeah, been through the mine. You'd be, with some, be through some wars. I see you've yeah. got one booked in Scotland as well. Yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever boxed in Scotland before? No, no, no. Weekend up there, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Another yeah, country book. Ticked off, you boxed in England. <laughs> Wales is the other one I think you've boxed. Wales, there. I've done yet. Yeah. Scotland, and then yeah, you're so, so you're getting around fight. different countries, mate, which is which is good. What's it like yeah. fighting in a different country? Is it good? Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, when you're so in it, you forget that, forget how lucky I am, really, what I've done, what the opportunities are like. 
Mm -hmm. So we, so you've got this one tomorrow, providing everything goes well. The one in yeah. Scotland, I think, 18th of November, if I'm not mistaken, and then yeah. maybe one more in December. So th these three, then call it a year, or just two? We've got one after, the week after uh, Scotland. Uh, Who have you got? Fleming, I think. Fleming. I think uh, Andrew, I think it's Andrew Fleming's about. Yeah, I have said I've not got because uh, he sent me the name of that. Fleming rings about. That's in Wigan, uh, Scotland, and then I'm not boxing next weekend, but I've got a couple of weeks in the early November. Uh, I'd like to get one in there, so I get four this year. I know that goes back to what I've just said about not being too active, but I've sort of worked it. I've got an exam with work that starts on prep on the 8th of December. So I want to have boxing wrapped up for the year by probably that 25th of November so I can then focus on the exam for work over Christmas. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, mate. And then next year, would you roughly, next 2024, would, is it a big year for you? Like, what would you say, f six, 20 fights? Or... 2024 is a big year for boxing. Uh, I've tried to set the business up this year. Mm -hmm. So that next year, uh, so I've got more advisor now. Um, so basically, some of the fight, some of the cases we get and stuff, I can look to that. Hope we should say, oh, I've got a trainee. Sorry, um, I can look to use her. Um, and then next year, I can say, uh, forget, say right, I can have a year where I can really focus on boxing next year. So like five, ten fights is the goal for next year. No, the goal for next year is to get over fifty. Yeah, so by the time this year ends, we'll be about 36 or 35. Yeah. Uh, just to get 15 in next year and get over the 50 mark, get halfway by the end of that year, then I've got the last 50 to to play with in the 30s. That, that's good, mate. That's good stuff. And um, yeah. before I let you go, do you want to thank yeah. um, just your usual people, managers, anybody? Yeah, so Scott Kalo, legend of a man, uh, Nathan Kirk, uh, legend of a man as well uh, and Unity Boxing Gym for uh, helping me out and doing training down there and stuff as well yeah mm -hmm. and um, thank you for your time George you know good luck with the fight mate and just Thanks, mate. enjoy we'll the fight yeah no we'll catch up yeah thank you mate bye cheers brother bye bye